from the Ottawa Journal from the year 1944. No headlines, just under a segment, Strikes and Spares. But it talks about reducing the dependency on luck in bowling. Often when bowlers gather to discuss their game and scores, you will hear someone say, this was not my lucky day. The luck angle is talked about more than any other in the game of five pins. Lady luck really has very little to do with a well-played game. If a person is bowling carefully and throwing well-placed balls to the alley, his score will show that his efforts are not wasted. There are times when a strike seems absolutely certain to be made. Then, after the pins clear into the pit, a single pin, the four or five, remains standing. Then again, when the head pin is lifted out after a seemingly perfect ball, the cry of tough luck is heard. These unexpected setbacks cannot be placed to your luck alone. They can always be traced to the bowler himself. It is another instance why the game is fascinating and a challenge to our capabilities of making our arms and legs do what we want them to do. In breaking down the game of five pins to the percentage basis, it is conceded that 60% of your game is based on the stance, grip, approach, and delivery. 30% can be placed to your judgment of distance and aim, and the remaining 10% is left to the ball when it reaches the pins. In this latter bracket, luck plays its part. Figuring it is in this respect, one can easily understand that the top scorers and leading bowlers in any league have really got something on the ball besides plenty of luck. It is up to each individual to concentrate on improving that 90% of their game. If we do this, we can be sure that luck will have very little to do with the remaining 10%.